All right, so getting started, we are going to be using a weight four um, yarn. It is going to be a yarn that you're going to want to um, check the label that it requires a five millimeter crochet hook, which we are going to be using today. And um, on top of it, you're gonna want a darning needle as well as some scissors. And I am going to go over the large and the small size. So the, the one and a half liter as well as the 70, 750 milliliter. But overall we are gonna be using, and I'm gonna be using two different colors today. Don't feel like you have to use two different colors. Um, and then as I just showed you, I've made others of these with multiple colors, doing the blue, the orange, and the green together. Um, but this is going to be a pretty quick workup, whether you want it to be the small or the large size wine bottle. So we are going to get started moving into the base of this bag. All right, so moving into row one of our base of our bags. Um, <clears throat> so I will uh, put down below, obviously, the timestamps for you guys. And for the base, for a 750 milliliter bag, you are going to do rows one through five and row seven. For a liter and a half bag, you will do rows one through seven total. Um, and then you will move into the body of the bag, row one, and I will give you the stitch counts for every row um, for either bag. So um, we're gonna go ahead and create our beginning here. Okay, Oop. <laughs> don't do that. <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and get ready here. All right, so if you're a magic circle person, go ahead and do that. Um, but for most people uh, that don't do magic circles, we're gonna chain five, okay? And five, and go ahead and slip stitch to the beginning to create a circle, okay? And I always chain one at the beginning of every row. So I'm not probably going to repeat that throughout this whole thing, um, but just know that for every row, you're gonna want to chain one. Now, I personally will crochet regardless of whether it's a magic circle or a um, chain like this to get started, I will crochet over my tail. Um, it just makes it easier and then I can pull a real nice tight center there, okay? So now what you're going to do for row one is you're gonna place 12 half double crochets into this ring. So that's gonna be a yarn over. You're gonna insert your hook, okay? You're gonna pull up your loop. You're gonna yarn over and pull through all three, all right, loops. You're gonna do that again. Yarn over, go into the circle, pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through all three. So go ahead and place 10 more half double crochets in the circle and you'll slip stitch to the first. All right, moving into row two of this base, you are going to be, a super simple row, you are going to place a single crochet in the top of each stitch. And again, I am going to be crocheting over my tail, okay? So go ahead and place 12 single crochets total and slip stitch to the top of the first one. All right, moving into row three, I have slip stitched and chained my one to join and now what we're going to do is yarn over go into that first stitch and pull up a loop yarn over pull through two and yarn over and pull through two for a double crochet now we're going to place a second double crochet in that same stitch okay and that's all you're going to do is place two double crochets in the top of every stitch all the way around and you're gonna have 24 double crochets at the end of this row, okay? So I'll see you at the end, make sure that you're slip stitching to join and we will move into row four. All right, we're gonna move into row four and this is gonna be, I've already slip stitched and chained one. We're gonna yarn over and place a double crochet in that first stitch to get our repeat started. Okay, now in the next stitch, we are gonna place two double crochets. One. And two. Okay, 
and that's all our repeat is. So you're going to go all the way around, placing a double crochet in the first stitch here. And in the next stitch, you'll place two double crochets. So one, and two. And at the end of this row, per your stitch counts down below, you'll have 36 double crochets and you will slip stitch to the first and chain one so that we can move into row five. All right, moving into row five, I've slip stitched and chained one for row four. And this row is super simple. You're gonna yarn over, go into that stitch and place a half double crochet. So pull up your loop and yarn over and pull through all three. And that's all you're gonna do all the way around is place a half double crochet in the top of each stitch for a total of three, uh, 36 half double crochets at the end of this row, okay? And you will slip stitch to that first half double crochet and chain one. All right, moving into row six, which is only for the one and a half liter wine bag, okay? Oh, I didn't chain one. I have slip stitched to the top of that um, very first half double crochet and chained one. And so for this repeat, which again is only for the liter and a half. So if you're doing the 750 milliliter, jump on over to row seven with that timestamp down below. But you, what you're gonna do is place a double crochet for row six in this first stitch here. Okay. We're gonna place a double crochet in the next stitch. And we're gonna place two double crochets in the third stitch. And that's all the repeat is all the way around. So one here, and we're gonna place a second one in the same stitch. All right, so that's your repeat. I'm gonna place double crochet, double crochet, two double crochets. And at the end of this row, you're gonna have 48 double crochets and you will slip stitch to the top of that first double crochet and chain one. All right, moving into row seven. This is a pretty easy row. Whether you are doing the small or the large wine bag, all you're gonna do is place a double crochet in each stitch all the way around. So if you have the small wine bag, you will wind up with 36 double crochets at the end of this row. And if you're doing the large wine bottle, you will have 48 double crochets at the end of this row. So now I am going to see you for the body of the bag when I complete this. Um, you are gonna slip stitch to the top of that first double crochet and chain one to get started. So I am gonna teach you one of my cute little tricks that I do when I am doing color swaps so that I don't have to deal with tails. Um, being that I am gonna switch colors just so it's a lot easier for everybody to see the dragon scale performed. Um, what I'm gonna show you is you'll see that my hook is actually already in the top of that very first double crochet. Now what I'm gonna do is snip maybe a centimeter, okay? I'm gonna set my scissors over there. I'm gonna pull out my hook Okay, what I'm gonna do is unravel the last two to even three stitches, okay? Now, I'm gonna have this like this, where you see the tail, I'm gonna pull out a third stitch just so it's not as tense. And I'm gonna grab my new color over here, which is um, the rose color here. And what I'm gonna do is lay it so that they're opposites, okay? So they're going in opposite directions. Now what I'm gonna do is take this pink one, I'm gonna pull it over top of the purple one, and I'm gonna wrap it underneath, okay? We're gonna do a magic knot, knot here. And now what I'm gonna do is pull that pink, because it's underneath the purple now, and all I'm gonna do is make sure that it crosses in the pink and then I'm gonna pull it through like this, okay? Now I'm gonna pull this tight, the pink, okay? Make sure that your pink is still up top of the purple. And this is optional, you don't have to do this. Now what I'm gonna do, my purple's still down below and my pink's still up top. I'm going to cross my pink over top of my purple, okay? 
and I'm going to cross my purple back down over top of my pink and I'm going to pull that purple through the loop. Okay. Ah, give me a second. I'm fidgety today. <laughs> Super shaky. Okay. You want it to come through that little hole. All right. Come on. And then you're going to pull the purple tight. Okay. Now, what I'm going to do is pull on either string and they're going to come together like that. Now what I do is I take my pink and pull both the tail and the other side and then I do the same thing with the purple. Okay, make sure they're real tight and then you're going to pull them again and all you're going to do is cut those little tails. And then you're going to refinish up the previous row um, and redo the stitches that you unraveled and they should create a pretty seamless beginning for you so that you can move right into your next color and you won't have any tails to deal with. Okay, so let's move into the next row of our body. All right, we're gonna be moving into row one for the body of this. And this is going to be um, the first row and I'm gonna switch colors so it's easier on row two for you guys to see. But what we're gonna do is place what I call a V-stitch. So you're going to yarn over and go into the top of that that um, stitch that you slip stitched into, yarn over and pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over and pull through two for a double crochet. We're going to chain one, and then we're going to complete the V-stitch by putting another double crochet in that same stitch. Okay. Now we're going to skip our next stitch, and we're going to place one double crochet in the third stitch. Okay, and then we'll skip the fourth stitch. So let's do our repeat together again. So yarn over, we're skipping that fourth stitch and we're starting our repeat in the next stitch with a V stitch. So place one double crochet, chain one, place a second double crochet in that same stitch, skip this next stitch, place a double crochet in the next one, and then you'll start the repeat by skipping this stitch. So it's gonna look like this. Okay, you'll have a V stitch, skip, double crochet, skip. And you'll do that all the way around. For the 750 milliliter bag, you will have nine V stitches and nine double crochets. For the liter and a half wine bag, you will have 12 V stitches and 12 double crochets, and you will slip stitch to the top of this first double crochet and chain one when you're finished. Moving into row two, which is gonna be where we start to form the dragon scales. So you'll see I finished up that row um, after performing that magic knot, sorry for the dog or cat hair, and I chained one. And if you've never done dragon scales before, I'm gonna try and make this pretty effortlessly. So we are gonna be working over both sides of our V-stitch. And our first side, our double crochets are going to work from top to bottom. So what you're gonna do is yarn over, you're gonna go behind and through the middle of that V-stitch on the first side here. You're gonna complete five double crochets. So one, Yarn over and go do the same thing behind it and through the middle of that V-stitch for a second double crochet. I'm gonna do a third one. Give me a second to pull my yarn. It's snagging. We're gonna do our fourth one. Oop, I lost my yarn over. So do my fourth one. Now we're gonna do a fifth one, okay? And you see how they stacked from top to bottom, okay? Now, chain one, that's gonna create the tip of our dragon scale. So this is what it gonna, it's gonna look like on the first side. And now what you're gonna do is kind of flip, and I tend to pinch my work so that I can expose this other side of this V-stitch. 
Now the, we're gonna place five double crochets over the top of, um, or around this other side of our V-stitch and they're gonna stack from bottom to top, okay? So yarn over, go behind it and through the middle and place your first one. Now a lot of times I will move that first one down and then I'll work my next four. So two, you might find that you wanna move each of them. Three, and four, and five, okay? So that's what it looks like. Now, around this double crochet, you're gonna slip stitch. And that's all the dragon scale is. So let's do that one more time together around this next V-stitch. We're gonna place five double crochets on the first side. One. Two. Three. Four, and five. I'm gonna chain one. And I'm gonna turn my work and I'm gonna pinch it a little bit and we're gonna place five around that other side of the V-stitch. So one, move it down so you have a little more room. Two, three, four. I'm gonna move these four down. I have a little more room for my fifth. And five. And then I'm gonna slip stitch around the double crochet. Now for your small wine bag, you will go ahead and repeat that all the way around seven more times. And for your large wine bag, you're gonna repeat this, um, repeat 10 more times. And then you will slip stitch into the top of this double crochet. So when you come to this last slip stitch, whether you've got nine or 12 dragon scales, you'll slip stitch around this double crochet and then slip stitch into the top of it as well, okay? Um, so, and then we'll move into our second repeat row because this is our first repeat row, but our second repeat row, we are going to do a little bit differently than we did this first row of V stitches. Okay. So go ahead and work your, um, remaining seven or 10 dragon scales and I will meet you for the next row. All right. Moving into row three, I did slip stitch into the top of that. Um, double crochet. I'm going to chain one. Does not count as anything. And now what we're going to do is place our V stitches for row three in the top of this double crochet. Okay, so V stitch. So we're going to place a double crochet. It's going to be kind of tight in this first one, but you're going to do double crochet, chain one, and place another double crochet in that same space. Now, you're gonna skip over the side of this dragon scale and you're gonna place a double crochet in what I call the eye of the scale. And that's all the repeat is, but let's do it one more time together. So for here, you'll get used to doing this, um, the more rows that you do, but you're gonna see that that double crochet is right there and you slip stitched around it, you're gonna place your V stitch in the top of that. So double crochet. Chain one, place another double crochet. And then you're gonna wrap up the repeat by putting a double crochet in the eye of the scale. Now again, for um, the small bag, you're gonna have nine V-stitches and nine double crochets. And for the large bag, you're going to have uh, 12 V-stitches and 12 double crochets. And you will slip stitch to the top here. And then what you'll do all the way around um, is you're gonna go back to row two and you're gonna repeat row two. And you'll repeat row three and two 
I would say Okay, so it, um, if you're doing the small wine bag, you are going to wind up having anywhere from between 14 and 16 rows of scales. If you're doing the large wine bags, you are actually going to have about 18 to 20 rows of scales. So um, just wanted to point that out. I um, did cut off the last row description just because I didn't word it very well. Um, Y'all know I got that mark replacement that makes me wordy. So um that's a pretty good rule of thumb. However, what I would recommend is that um, <clears throat> these last two rows that we're about to do uh, do cover the cap of a wine bottle. Whatever size it is, it doesn't matter. And so I do recommend that when you stop with your rows of scales on your repeats that you stop just below that cap line. And then when you find, uh, finish up with the cuff here that we're about to do, then the, um, the dragon scale will come right at the top of that cap and um, you won't really be able to see the wine bottle in the back. So um, that's a great rule of thumb and I just wanted to add that tip before we moved on to the cuff. All right, moving into row one of this cuff. It's going to be super simple. I have slip stitched into the top of my last um, double crochet from my last repeat row and already chained one. Now what we're going to do is just place a double crochet back in that space. Okay. Double crochet here. And then we're going to place a double crochet in the top of the first double crochet of our V-stitches. And it will be pretty tight um, just to give you a heads up. But you're going to place a double crochet there. And then a double crochet in the eye. And then a double crochet in the top of the other side of your V-stitch. And that's all the repeat is. So for small wine bags, you're going to wind up having 36 double crochets. And for large wine bags, you're going to have, what is it, 48? Yeah. 48 double crochets. So go ahead and do that all the way around and you're going to slip stitch to the top of your first double crochet and I'll see you for row two. All right, moving into row two of the cuff and this is going to be, oops, sorry for hitting my camera, um, going to be a super simple row. You're just going to place a double crochet in the top of every single double crochet all the way around. So again, at the end of this row, you're going to have 36 or 48 double crochets and you'll slip stitch to the top and go ahead and weave in your ends, okay? And then we're gonna attach the strap. All right, moving into row one of the strap. I've got my five millimeter hook here. We're gonna start with about a 10 to 12 inch tail and we are going to go ahead and get it ready for our hook, okay? So, just like this. All right, so now you're gonna chain one two, three, four, five, six, okay? Now, you're gonna turn it over. Instead of working into the side chain here, you're gonna see that there's this little bump, right, um, where the purple is instead of the pink. Now, I have one here just below my hook, a second one here, and a third one, and I'm gonna work into that bottom bump a single, a single crochet, okay? Ah, hold on, it's kind of tight. So if you're a tight crocheter, I do recommend going up half a millimeter and hook just for the starting chain. Okay, we'll go ahead and one, two, and three where my nail is. I'm gonna place that single crochet. So that's actually gonna be our second single crochet because that chain two that we have there um, at the base of our hook is gonna serve as a single crochet. And now we're gonna place three more into the next three bumps. So one here for our third single crochet, and then a fourth single crochet in the next bump, and a fifth single crochet into the fifth bump, which was our starting chain, okay? So now I've got this really long chain tail and that is going to serve as my, um, my slip stitching that I will attach it to the bag. Okay, so let's go ahead and move into row two. 
All right, moving into the repeat row, which is row two of this strap, okay? You're going to do this a total of 36 rows, or I guess you're gonna repeat row two 34 times, but you're gonna chain one. This does not serve as a single crochet, and you're gonna go directly into both loops of that last stitch there, okay? That last single crochet. Let's go ahead and place a single crochet, one, you're gonna do a second single crochet into the next stitch, both loops. Oop, don't drop your yarn like me. Two. You're gonna go into the third one. We're gonna go into the fourth one. Now for this row two, our fifth single crochet here is gonna be a little bit difficult, okay? Um, because we've gotta pick up um, the side of our chain here, okay? So go into that chain, that last chain of your chain six, and then you're gonna pick up the other side of it to make sure that you complete your single crochet, okay? but you'll repeat row two 34 more times, and then you'll fasten off with a 10 to 12 inch tail as well so that you can attach this to your bag after we complete our bag, okay? So that's all that is, is you're gonna just repeat row two. So you're gonna place um, chain one, and then you'll place five single crochets across the top here, okay? So we're a total of 36 rows. All right, so we're gonna be attaching this strap, and I do have, um, I'm gonna be working where the inside of my bag is going to be where my hook is entered through. So we're actually gonna be working in the opposite direction of how we crocheted our last row for our cuff. And I'm gonna have this tail on the right side here of the little bit of strap that we're gonna be um, sewing here. Now I have attached my um, chain three that served as a double crochet on the one side of our strap using a stitch marker. And I placed that stitch marker in the first stitch of my 36 double crochets, okay? Now I'm gonna count over one, two, three, four, and I'm gonna place my hook in that fifth stitch, okay? Now I'm gonna go through both loops of my very first stitch um, because we placed our double crochets in the bottom bump, right? So now I have V stitches to work with, okay? And so what I'm gonna do is place my hook into both loops of the bag itself, starting with the back, and then both loops of the <clears throat> strap. I'm gonna pick up my, my yarn here, and I'm going to slip stitch through all four of those loops, okay? And that's um, our first slip stitch. Now we're gonna go into the next or the fourth stitch here. We'll go into the bottom bumps of the strap and we're gonna slip stitch a second time. And it is gonna be tight on the side that um, you chained for the strap. So I always start with it first. So then go into the next stitch of the bag, both loops of the strap, and we're gonna slip stitch a third time. Okay. Now we're going to go into the fourth stitch of the bag. Go ahead and remove your stitch marker. Okay. Go into both loops of the strap. Pull your slip stitch through. Okay. Now go into both loops of the bag. And for this um, fifth stitch on this side, and we're going to fix it with our darning needle you are probably just gonna be able to get through one loop because it's a chain and not an actual double crochet. Go ahead and slip stitch through that, okay? Now, go ahead and pull your tail all the way through and grab a darning needle, <clears throat> okay? Now, what I like to do, because you're gonna see it's kind of funky, right? is I go up on the side of the chain three that served as a double crochet and I pull my darning needle through that, OK? 
okay? Now, I'm gonna go up a little bit into the base of the first chain of that chain three. I'm gonna pull my darning needle all the way through, and then I'm gonna come back through the bag, the two loops of the bag that we slip stitched, and I'm gonna pull down like that, okay? Now, what I'm gonna do is take my darning needle and weave through the bottom of the slip stitch and through the two loops of the bag. And this gives it a little bit nicer, tighter feel. And then I'm gonna come down through the next slip stitch space. I'm gonna weave like this, alternating, okay? All this does is reinforce the strap, okay? I'm gonna do my third one. I'm gonna go through my fourth one, okay? And now you can weave as ordinary, like how you always would. Um, now for me, cause I'm using this pink, what I'm gonna do is actually go back up into my strap into the corner here and I'm gonna weave through here and I'll probably drop back down just to reinforce through here and then I'll go back up and I'll weave back one and then I'll weave through this row, okay? But I'm not gonna record all that just because it's quite a bit. Um, and so let me flip the bag around and we'll do the other side of the strap. All right, so side two of this strap, you are going to make sure that it's folded proper and you are going to attach the corner that doesn't have a tail to the 19th stitch of the bag, okay? And now what I'm gonna do is kind of flip this strap, okay, this way, and I'm going to be working again with my hook through the, um, so this is stitch 19, this would be 20, 21, 22, 23, Okay, because that's five stitches. And what I'm gonna do is put it through my bag loops and then my strap loops, and then I'm gonna wrap this um, loop around my hook, okay? And I'm gonna pick up my yarn. And now we're gonna pull that loop through all four loops. And we're gonna complete this side of the strap the exact same way that we did the other. Um, just doing our five slip stitches here, but this side's gonna be way easier than that first side, okay? And you will um, weave in the end in the same fashion. So you can pop on back to that first side of that strap if you need to, and check that out. Now I've got my first, I've got four slip stitches here. I'm gonna remove my stitch marker and I'm gonna complete my fifth slip stitch. But this time, my fifth slip stitch, I actually have two loops to slip stitch through, okay? And so that's all this bag is, and now it's complete. I'm gonna pull my tail all the way through, and I'm gonna weave in uh, that end in the same fashion I did the other side, and now I have a small wine bag all completed. So congratulations on making this. I hope to see everybody's across the internet and just posts. Feel free to tag me at Picatrix22. And um, good luck. It's absolutely beautiful. These are really great gift bags for people. And um, I hope that I inspired you to do your own color pattern since I did show you a few of them that I've done. And uh, thanks as always for tuning in, liking, sharing, and subscribing to Picatrix Cards and Crochet.